Hi friends, this is Kristen with Softlex Company here with a new episode of Free Spirit Beating. And I just don't know if you can hear, but my neighbor has landscaping going on right now. <laughs> so if you happen to hear that in the background, I apologize and uh, we'll do our best to talk over it. Just give a moment for people to jump on. Hi friends, Kristen here, here for a new episode of Free Spirit Beating. Now, nice to see you. <laughs> Hi Lydia. Debbie, Sue, and Karen. Iona, lovely to see everyone. Hi, Becky. So today I'm going to be playing with some leftovers from my customer appreciation um, kit, as well as the summer rain design kit, and combining those with um, the two whole beads. So we did get some two hole beads, some carrier beads and some triangle beads in the customer appreciation kit. And then we also have more carrier beads in a, a different array of colors for sale at softlexcompany.com. So I decided um, I should back up. I shared a picture over on the Softlex Company VIB studio group on Friday and that was just sort of to help me figure out, should I use carrier beads? Should I use triangle beads? I wasn't quite sure which direction to go. And I got a lot of wonderful feedback on both. It seemed like the carrier beads were in the lead and then the triangle beads took over. <laughs> so I decided why not use the triangle beads with the design I was originally intending and then break open the summer rain kit and use some carrier beads for a similar design with the summer rain bead mix and, um, and carrier beads that we have in other colors. And then we can have an example of both, best of both worlds. Um, so if you didn't get the kits, the summer rain or the customer appreciation kit, we do still have bead mixes for both available. So I'm going to be using the triangle beads, which were in the kit, and then the customer appreciation bead mix. So you can still get the mix. And then I'm also going to be using carrier beads with the summer rain bead mix, and you can still get the mix. And you can also still get the carrier beads on our website. So that's what's going on today. Hi, Brenda and Tony and Gail. Thanks everyone for joining us and Susie. Lovely to see everybody. Um, yeah, so I have some fun, some fun things to share today. So before I get started, let me talk about what is happening over on the website. We've got a ton of new check glass buttons. I think we brought in 18 to be exact. And um, we had one other little dragonfly button, which I'm gonna probably use today um, from our friends at Tierra Cast in a copper color available already. And then we have 18 new check glass buttons. They're really beautiful. Sarah shared a video last Wednesday on the Facebook page and YouTube channel showing off all of the different buttons. We also have a reel on Softflex Company's Instagram feed that Sarah did showing off all the buttons. Um, we have a blog post that went up last week, I think it was on Thursday, that gave a whole bunch of ideas of using buttons as clasps, pendants, earrings, 
Um, so nice little roundup there. So some ideas of what you can do. And the sale we have going on is you buy three, you add a fourth one to your cart and it'll be free. So the free one will be of equal or lesser value to the rest of them. And um, you have to add all four items to your cart. So you're choosing four buttons, paying for three, one will be free. And if you put eight into your cart, you will pay for six, two will be free, and so on. So it's a really great deal. Um, these buttons are check glass, except for the copper one that I just showed of the dragonfly. Um, but they're, that one's included in the deal as well. So anything in that button category. Uh, they're made from vintage molds. And if you want more information, just click all the way through on the button into the full description and you can see that there's some extra information, some good stuff in there telling you a little bit more about the buttons when they were made. I think they're from um, molds in the 1990s, I believe. Um, but yeah, check out the description for all of the details on that. All right, so that's our sale. That goes on till tomorrow, August 10th. It ends at midnight Pacific time. It's while supplies last. So I know that we've already sold out of two of the buttons and we have quite a few others that are down to like five or less. And then we have others that we have quite a few of. So it really is just while supplies last, we're not getting them in again. We're not gonna be replenishing these buttons. It will just be um, as we sell them. Hi, Rita, Carolyn. Marisol, happy Monday, and Maria too. Happy, happy Monday. It's Monday Muse with Kristen, free spirit beating. <laughs> Hope everyone had a really nice weekend. Um, yeah, yeah, I had a good time. I think I, what did I do this weekend? I went and saw some music on Friday. We have a little local coffee shop that we go to, and they've been having music on Fridays, and it's, um, it feels like our, we call it our cheers because <laughs> we go there so often and we know everybody that works there and now we know a good amount of people that go there. Um, and so we did that on Friday. I think I just relaxed on Saturday and did some errands. We've got kids back to school. So we did some back to school stuff. And then on Sunday, I did a relax and rejuvenation art video over in my group, Discover Your Creative Magic, um, because that is my theme for this month. So to relax and to rejuvenate. <laughs> and a lot of times I do that with creativity. So let's make something today, shall we? Let's turn you over to my beading table, which is kind of a mess. <laughs> Hi, Janine. Hi, Cindy. And let's talk a little bit about what we're going to do. So this was the design I posted on the Softlex VIB Studio page asking for some help in color choices. So I have this side has the pink triangles and this side has the carrier beads. And they're both really nice. I mean, I don't think I could go wrong. And from all of your voting. <laughs> yes, Carolyn says, whenever you, when you go in and everyone yells, Kristen. <laughs> so fun. Um, I don't think that we ever really claimed a place in that way. Like we have this little coffee shop and it's been really, it's been really fun to, to uh, have some place you go where you know everyone, you know, even if I just go in there for a little while, it feels like I went and visited friends. So this was the design I posted and many of you said the carrier beads and even more of you said the triangles, um, but I think it's a great design either way. So for this colorway, I am gonna go with the triangles because they came in, well, they both came in the customer appreciation kit, but I do like that pink and purple and red together. Kind of reminds me of our Valentine Passion kit that we did, that colorway. And I'm, I love the um, texture 
that those triangles have. So I really wanna use those. And here's just them in comparison with the carrier beads. And then I thought, well, why don't I grab the bead mix? This was the customer appreciation bead mix with the triangles. I was like, why don't I try using some carrier beads with the summer rain bead mix? So that's this one here. And I did this side with the silver carrier beads. And I did this side with the dark blue, the matte dark blue carrier beads, just to give a different option. And let me show you what other colors we have. Uh, you could also even use this one. This is like a turquoise color. That would be really lovely as well, using the turquoise, the teals, and the dark blues. So these are the other colors we have online. We have the turquoise, we have the matte dark blue, we have this shiny um, sage kind of color. I don't know what we call it. I don't, I think we call it fluorite. Yeah, that makes sense. Fluorite, have this metallic silver, a matte white, and a shiny purple. So those are all the different colors you can get at softlexcompany.com to recreate similar design with the carrier beads. This would be with the customer appreciation bead mix and this one with the summer rain bead mix. This was another design I did on a free spirit beading tutorial where I used the matte blue with some white softlex and those large 12 millimeter vintage crystal beads, which you can still find um, those at softlexcompany.com. And I finished it off with this beautiful uh, large toggle clasp that's hammered. If you wanna see that tutorial, you can check out the Free Spirit Beading playlist on YouTube and be able to find that in there. And then while we're talking about summer rain, I just thought I would share um, some of the other summer rain designs we did. So we did this last week. This was those daggers and they are a little flippy floppy. Um, I'm curious if I would have put a seed bead or something in between, would they have kind of held straight a little bit better? Maybe, I don't know but I don't mind them being flippy floppy. They're like petals and when I'm wearing it, it mostly lays flat with an occasional like chance to fidget. <laughs> so if you like to fidget or like having things that fidget, <laughs> it might be a good design for you. And I do feel like they look kind of like um, petals even with, their, with that movement on there. So just something to be aware of. And if you wanna keep them straight, maybe try Seed beads in between, I don't know. Maybe, I don't know if that'll help or not. But if it does, let us know. Share it in the VIB group and let us know what happened. So we did that one last week and this same design I also did with the rondelle beads. And that was during customer appreciation week. That was the previous Monday, the last video of the day and it's the same um, pattern as this one. It's just changing the beads. This one has smaller beads, a round center and daggers. And this one has larger rondelles and a rondelle center and then smaller rondelles around the side. So these beads were all in the customer appreciation kit. And these beads were all in the summer rain design kit. And one last summer rain design I have over here is our really cute cloud necklace. I went nuts with the dangles, made all these little raindrop dangles. And as you might not be able to tell, but the cloud is a little asymmetrical. So I was kind of playing with um, the, the weight of it. And that's why I ended up with so many dangles. I just kept adding to either side, trying to kind of balance out the weight 
so it would hang straight. I think it came out kind of cute. And then I just did some nice kind of weaving in and out of beads with soft flex beading wire up the back chain. Tony says she just finished her cloud necklace. Oh, I can't wait to see it, Tony. What did you end up doing with yours? I love how I did the, this direction and then Sarah showed a design with it on the side as well as upside down. So you really can play with it in all the different ways. And I think Sarah even painted hers this time since usually I'm the one that paints. She decided to give that a try. I thought they came out so cute. Such a great design from our friends over at Allegory Gallery. And we are totally sold out. We had a small um, selection of extra clouds, but we're totally sold out. It was an exclusive design to us and to that kit. But if you like the, the wooden pendants, you can check out allegorygallery.com and find a whole bunch of other styles and... Um, motifs to design with. They're really cool. All right, so how should we start here? Let's start with the pinks and the purples first and go through that one. I'll just move this one up here. This was another design I was kind of playing with, but I didn't finish. Um, and maybe I'll do this in a future video or maybe I'll just finish it and share it for inspiration. But I noticed that if you used a smaller bead at the top and a larger bead at the bottom using the two whole triangles in between, they create this really nice shape. I stopped at this number of beads because as I kept going, the shape was getting um, closer and closer and more like that, which would be a great maybe pendant idea if you wanted to kind of horseshoe it around. But I really wanted it to kind of lay as a short necklace right around my neck. And that seemed like a good number of beads. And these are all from the customer appreciation kit. The triangles came with these little clear beads in between. So I utilized those. And then these, um, sort of bluish purple beads were in the customer appreciation bead mix. So you can still get the mix with those. Hi, Kim. Becky says, I like the dish you're using. Thank you, Becky. I picked this up at a thrift store not too long ago um, because I just wanted something a little bit larger and to kind of hold on to all my gathering of beads. And this does the trick. Let's flip those over. So I'm going to be using Softlex beading wire medium. And even though this kit is sold out, it came with these three colors, which are the colors in our Trio's Mystical set. So if you like all three and you want to get a little set of these three colors, you can still do that at softlexcompany.com and go into the Trio's packs and choose the Mystical. And that has pink tourmaline, purple amethyst, and the spinel color all in medium 0.019 diameter and all 10 feet each for a total of 30 feet. I used the pink here on this example. I used the pink tourmaline. I'm kind of wondering if I should switch to the purple. I love purple and copper together. And I'm gonna be using this button. So I did cut out some purple wire see how that looks. So I've got about a foot of each strand. It's more than I'll need. And I've got a bead stopper on one side. And we'll just string this along. So 
I knew I wanted to use this really cute um, copper button as a closure because I'm currently obsessed with button closures <laughs> like this one. They are just so comfortable and easy to put on and off. Um, I don't know why it's taken me so long to really embrace the button, uh, but I'm excited that we have so many buttons available right now. And I knew I wanted to use this. And what a pleasant surprise when I put these beads together. Don't they remind you of a dragonfly? It's missing the little body, but otherwise it looks like the wings and the head of the dragonfly. I just love that. So because I was bringing in this copper, I wanted to also bring in some copper um, elements. And I had this strand that we had a little ways back that I hadn't used yet. And I'm trying to decide, do I like just the one or do I like the two? Or maybe I might do three. Maybe I'll do one next to it and then one on each strand to kind of make a little cluster. Maybe I'll just do that by the big, by the focal. Do three right there and then do one on the ends. Let's see how that looks. Cute, cute, cute. <laughs> that was one of those happy accidents where I just was playing around with what to put together and that little dragonfly shape appeared and I was like, that's perfect. So we don't have these online anymore. We did sell out of these, um, but really I'm just using it as a little spacer and to bring in that little copper element. So you can find a small bead or another metal color, especially if you're using a button that might be a different color than that. Or if you have some copper spacers, that would be perfect. So the only thing you don't have to worry about with the triangles is that you're keeping your shape in the right direction. So I want my triangle facing up. So every time I string it, I just gotta make sure I'm putting it on the right way. So my triangle is facing up. And then scoot that down towards your little spacer bead. If you found that there were some holes that were closed, because I definitely found that in some of mine, um, I was able to use a head pin, and we actually did provide some head, pin, head pins in the kit. I was able to just use a head pin and poke it through and open up that hole. Sometimes on the two hole beads, that happens a little more often that one of them can have a little, a little gunk in there. So now I want to string on these purple beads, these teardrop beads with the thinner part going towards the rondelle for the wing. So the thicker part is towards the triangle. And then I'll just use the rondelle to gather them together. And I'm just being a little careful that I'm keeping my wires straight when I pick them up and slide it through. And you can always check by pushing it down and then just sort of separating them out before you string your next bead, making sure that they are not crisscrossing. So now I wanna string these on the opposite way because I want the thinner part 
towards the rondelle and the thicker part away. And that creates our little wings. been kind of fun to have two kits going at the same time to have two different colorways that I can um, play and do the same technique twice because I've done that with the macrame idea and now I'm going to do that with this two hole idea. <laughs> Glenda says cute cute. Catherine, hi. Thanks for joining us. That's okay. I'm glad you made it. And Kim is saying, your design makes me think of the Jetsons and something, um, was it Anne would wear? Jane, right. That's her name, Jane, right? Jane would wear. She was a very elegant modern mom. It does kind of look like something she would wear. That little three shape Reminds me of something like maybe the bottom of the dress or like the neckline, that little textured shape there. I wonder. Tony is asking, do you, Kristen, do you use a light box for your pictures? I'm trying to improve my photos. Um, I do have a ring light that I will sometimes use if it's really dark in the house at that time of day, um, but I don't prefer it. I actually prefer just the natural light. So I get close to my window and really just use the natural light. And if you're having trouble um, getting enough brightness, you can create like, see I have a poster board down here on the bottom. You could take another poster board and point it either here or here, wherever the light is coming from so that it can bounce off of it and back onto your piece. So my light source is actually coming from here. So if I put a poster board on this side, it will help like bounce the light back at my piece and give that a try. But natural light's the best, and you don't want to be in like bright sunlight. You want to actually be in um, diffused natural light. So if you're by a window and it's coming out too harsh, like too bright, and your shadows are a little bit too bright, um, you can try putting some tissue paper on your window to soften it. So what do we think about going with the three? Let's see how it looks when I put the big bead next to it versus the two. So the two just sort of floats around a little bit. I thought maybe going with three of those spacers would be nice. So hopefully that helps. And I know that um, Sarah shared some photo tips on our blog during the Great Beat Extravaganza takeover. And I know Nile has shared some photo tips also over at Silver Silk and more. You could probably check out his YouTube channel, Silver Silk, um, to find what he had to share about pictures. Kim says, yes, it was Jane. <laughs> Your J sticks. <laughs> it kind of, it came back to me when I was looking at it. I was like, hmm, Anne doesn't sound familiar. <laughs> Jane popped in my head. <laughs> Catherine says, I love everything you made, Kristen. Oh, thanks, Catherine. That's nice. That's nice to hear. It's a lot better than the alternative, huh? <laughs> so there we have it with the three. And I think the three is kind of nice in there. I can probably 
kind of pull that closer together. Tim says three is better. That's what I would do as well. Janelda, hi, Kristen, just got home. I will definitely be watching this replay. That is so cute. Thank you. So this is what I had left of my little triangles. Well, hopefully just six more will do the, do the deed here. Oh, good, Tony. Yeah, definitely take a look at Sarah and Neelay. They both shared some photo tips. I know Sarah's was during the Grape It Extravaganza takeover in June. So in so look around June timeline. I think Neelay's was prior to that. I don't think it was part of the Grape It Extravaganza at all. Um, but I do remember him doing one and he takes great photos. This one might be, oh, that one's good. I love the texture that these little triangles made when you put them together like that. Although I like them when they're just separate by themselves too. They were just an interesting, an interesting bead. For those of you that got this kit, what did you think about these triangles? <laughs> yeah, I totally get that, Kim. Kim says, I haven't clipped the strand yet. The beads look so pretty. I just hold them as is. <laughs> I have a lot of beads that I do that with. It's like once you clip the strand, it just changes the whole thing. You got you to gotta then use them or, or they get end up getting like tossed aside. And they are so pretty just on their own. They have this really pretty AB finish that the light is kind of catching right there. So they're almost like a, like a, I don't want to say raspberry pink, but they do feel a little raspberry to me. Maybe not quite as dark as a raspberry. How's everyone feeling out there? I know we've been sensing and we've been feeling ourselves a little fatigued with everything going on and stuff kind of closing down again. And um, we were talking in the VIB group actually today about um, bringing back joyful beating again for another month, uh, just to kind of give us all some fun stuff to focus on. <laughs> Kim says, I have beads older than you that I do that with. Wow, how did I get so old? <laughs> Are you turning into vintage territory, <laughs> Kim? <laughs> wise, wise woman. Yeah, I have a lot of beads that are just are sometimes really fun just to kind of take a look at. And that's one of the things I shared in the group when somebody was saying they were having a hard time um, getting back their creative mojo and they just were feeling a little frustrated. And I, um, I, I said, well, for one thing, sometimes you got to give yourself some rest and rejuvenate in a different way. And so we live in a society that's always like, go, 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 what, move on to the next thing. Like, it's hard to keep up with that pace. So on one, on one hand, you might be just tired and need to rest and need to just do some, some chill out for yourself.
looking super cute. Yeah, I like the three beads in there. I think they add a nice little element. Um, but then the other thing is maybe you're feeling frustrated and you're not, and you don't want to rest anymore and you want to get creative again. You just feel kind of stuck. And one of the things I suggested was just like going slow, taking out your beads, holding them, remembering what you love about them and maybe gathering some up a few different ones into like a little pile that could maybe possibly work together. Um, all those things are, are nice ways to like gently tip your toe back in and get your creativity started again. Kim is vintage. <laughs> yes, she is. Becky says, nothing wrong with vintage. I love vintage jewelry. Yeah, I do too. Definitely nothing wrong with vintage. I love vintage everything. I'm always checking things out and uh, furniture, clothing. <laughs> Kim says, that's cute. Thank you. I think I'm ready to put a clasp on it. Let me just double check. Let me kind of string one of these on and see how it feels. And my husband is here saying, beautiful like you. Thank you, Bert. Love you. That was sweet. And our friend Nile is here just peeking in. Hi, Nile. I was just telling Tony to check out your video about um, photography. Didn't you share a video maybe over the summer? or maybe even longer than that, where you talked about tips for taking pictures. Um, I told her to check out your YouTube channel. I thought that might be the best place to find it. I'm gonna have to switch to a smaller bead stopper. Let's see if I can, all right, there we go. <laughs> Get that in there. <laughs> I feel like I need a little something else on here. Maybe just one more, one more bead on each end to make it long enough. So this is the customer appreciation bead mix. No way, Kim. Kim says, hello, Bert. Bert is one of my nicknames. Is it really? <laughs> Love that. And Nile is saying, I did do a video on photography, but it was in a private workshop. Oh, I must have seen it in the private workshop. Sorry about that. I may do another public workshop sometime down the road. Yeah, it's definitely a question people have a lot of, um, you know, they have a lot of trouble with. It's hard to take good pictures. And I do know Sarah did one for sure that you can definitely watch. So these are all the beautiful beads in that customer appreciation bead mix that you can still get. And that's what I'm using in here as well. So I just need to find one more bead to go on the ends. Oh, I have two of these left. So maybe I should go with those. I have two of those. Let me see what else I've got. I love the texture of these. These are like those dyed lava rock kind of beads. I'm not sure if they really are lava rock. They're probably just something that looks like it, but it's got a cool texture. Little dimply beads. That's got that pretty purple like that, but it's a little bit big. I think it'll be too much on the ends. Some pearly pinks. These are really lovely. Nice, big, kind of filigree looking focal beads. Sweet little tassels in there. And another pair of sweet little tassels. 
And this is another one of my favorites. I actually was thinking I would use this one. And I don't think the light is picking that up well. It's kind of got a purple and a smoky, smoky color. And I thought if I was gonna use the carrier beads instead of the triangle beads, that that actually would be a really nice bead to have in the center in place of the red. Just another option. These are cool. I did notice that these have like a little hang tag on a lot of them, but if you'd put a head pin through um, and just sort of wiggle it around, a lot of times that just can't popped off or you can just do, use your fingers like I just did and pop that off. That kind of gives, there's like this marbly finish on those. And those would make good little wings too. So that's another bead in this mix. This one came with the purple one as well as these. So those could make another little bead wing. And then some other sparklies, reds, and a handful of gold components, which are always nice. Bead cap it. Yeah, bead cap it. Oh, you're talking about this one. Yeah, so stick one of those bead caps on that side and that'll cover that right up. Good tip. I think I'll just use these. I think they'll just, they'll tie in nicely. They, they're a good size and they'll add just a little extra onto my, onto the ends here. Sure, Karen. I mean, Catherine, catch, us, catch me later. I understand. So I'm just going to add, I think I'll add a bead on each side. And take my bead stopper, and I'm going to have to give myself more space. Do you guys do this like I do every time? I give myself like a puny little space on one side, and then I end up having to scoot everything down <laughs> because... I don't have enough, enough wire to add my clasp. I'm just going to twist that. It does give me a chance to twist some wires around, I guess, if anything twisted up while I was stringing. Kim says she no longer has the strength to pull that little tabby thing off, so she just pops a bead cap on the end. Great tip. Tony says, I think I was part of that workshop. I don't remember for sure though. I've been so overwhelmed this year, so my memory is a bit off. That happens. Yeah, I, maybe it was part of his um, two year anniversary workshop, I would say. That seems like that would be about the timing that I'm thinking. So if you were a part of that two year anniversary workshop, Tony, then you may even have that um, video access from Neela at Silver Silk. Okay, there we go. So I'm going to grab some of my copper two by two millimeter crimp tubes for the end. And I pulled out some little seed beads. I'm thinking maybe this color might be the closest I have if you want to do like um, some beads around the end. But I might just do wire too just because I, I didn't have quite the perfect pink or purple color in my seed bead selection. Now, copper crimps can be a little tricky to get the third strand in. So I'm just going to see if I've got one over here that might be a little bit bigger. They just can sometimes get a little bit tighter on the inside.
And if that's going to give me a hard time, I might just switch to the gold. You're not really going to see it anyway. Yeah, I've definitely found that this little batch that I've got of the copper is a little bit tighter. And that sometimes happens. Ooh, I have black too. Maybe I'll try the black because that'll just sort of disappear on the purple wire. And the black are sterling silver crimp tubes. They're two by two millimeter and they have just been, yeah, that one works fine. They have been oxidized to give it that black color. So I just went up the two wires and then I took one of the wires through the, the button, back down through the crimp tube and get it to where I'm happy with it. But before I crimp, I'm just gonna make sure I can pull this wire out. So the one that I'm not looping, I'm gonna push back through the button because I wanna be able to trim that off. I want to be able to trim this one off close and if it was kind of floating in the button there then I wouldn't have been able to get to it. Yeah, Tony says I was a part of the anniversary celebration for some reason I missed it. Well, there was a lot of videos that week, so <laughs> maybe maybe you were just too busy with some of the other ones. <laughs> but I'm just going to use the magical crimping pliers and Place that crimp right in the center notch. Give it a good squeeze. Make that ravioli with the pinched four corners. Turn it 90 degrees. Place it back in that notch. And then I'm just gonna roll it and go around a few more times. And that one did really well. Like I said, the black crimps are actually sterling silver crimps that have been blackened, so they are a really nice crimp. And I'm just going to trim off that wire and scoot everything down again. I have to remember to leave myself a little extra room in the beginning so that I don't have to scoot twice and make sure that all my triangles are facing up there we go I think for this one, I'm just gonna go ahead and do wire and not put the little seed beads on. But if you wanted to, you would then take one of these strands after you put the crimp down, both of them, take one of the strands, string on your seed beads, and then go back down through to create your button loop. And that'll be something, or it could be any kind of beads, any kind of small beads that works. And now we're gonna create a loop that's the width of our button. Just gonna pull that wire down. I'm holding the crimp in place while I check the size. You want the button to fit in, but not be too loose that it's gonna fall out. Thanks, Carolyn. Yes, they do match. I always seem to have to paint my nails on Monday because 
they get destroyed over the weekend. <laughs> so I might as well match. Might as well match what I'm making if I can, right? All right, I think that's a good size. And just remember when you have beads on there, your loop might end up being a little bit bigger because you have to account for the beads. And also when you crimp, you're sometimes your loop just kind of cinches in a little bit. So just two things to be mindful of. And then using my flush cutters, I can just go all the way up to that crimp with the flat side and trim off the excess, making sure I don't trim my loop. I'm just trimming off the excess wire. And then, so cute. So you've got a little dragonfly button. You can buy three, get one free. Make sure to add four to your cart up through tomorrow at midnight. And this turned out to be a really fun design. Using the triangle beads from the kit and the customer appreciation bead mix. Let's just see if I can pop it on real fast and see how it fits. Cute. And I love how that ended up looking like a little dragonfly <laughs> on the sides. So I'm not gonna have time to finish out this one today, but which one do you like? What do you guys like? Do you like the silver on the right side or the dark blue? So these are like, this one's like a teal color and this one's sort of um, like a, hmm, I want to say true blue and then these are a little bit darker or I can go with the silver on the other side and so all of these beads are from the summer rain bead mix and then I just added the carrier beads as the little spacers here and then I have a little silver button that I could use to close it off Maria says silver, Becky says the blue. Here, let's put it on my hand and let's see. I do feel like the silver looks very like modern. So there's the silver on that side with the blue center. And then here's the blue on the left side. Yeah, the two blues don't really match. They are a little different. So they're definitely, there's like three different color blues. Like there's this one, dark blue, and then a teal. So they are a little more, le not as matchy-matchy. I also think this one could have been really fun in place here. Let's see if it'll stay on top. <laughs> so that you've got a little turquoise pop in there. That one's really neat too. So I'll finish this one. I am leaning towards the silver. That feels very rainy, stormy, I guess, summer rain to me. Yeah, Maria is saying the blue is beautiful, but the silver can be worn with more. Yep, Suzanne likes the silver too. Beautiful colors. Thank you, Janelda. Did a great job. Gail says very pretty. Really cute. Love it. Yay! So two, two different... Um, ideas but the same pattern just using some different beads and different two hole beads and maybe I'll come back and share this one too if I get a chance to finish it I thought that was really fun how that kind of shape horseshoed up by doing a smaller bead at the top and a larger bead at the bottom 
Yeah, that kit was challenging a little bit, Kim, because the undertones were very different, right? So here is the bead mix, just to give you an idea. This one, this is still available. So we had this really pretty dark blue strand in the kit, and then we had this bead mix. So there were a lot of different blues. And this is the summer rain kit. I think we had seven left over as of today when I checked this morning. These are really quite interesting. They have like a, they're like a bally bead and they do have some weight to them. So I'm curious what, what you all do with those. They're a great focal. And I still love these little stars. I know Kim's a fan of these too. Great little star glass little bubbles here or bobbles and this beautiful teal that's what's in here is this one is this beautiful teal color these lava rock looking dyed ones again and just lots of lots and lots of silver in this mix which is great nice to have these little um bead frames and tons of bead caps. These were all in there, these little nugget looking spacers. So a lot of silver and then also these hematite looking ones, which I haven't done anything with those yet, but they're really a lot of fun too. So that's the summer rain bead mix, about seven of those left and then they'll be gone. And then you could pick up some carrier beads in the silver or maybe one of the other colors to match. And then if you missed the customer appreciation kit or you just want to get more beads, this was the one that I used for the bracelet. And um, you can always grab some of the other carrier beads to try and make a similar design with that. So you've got like the dark purple or you can even do silver. Maybe you can even add turquoise in between and make it very like purple and turquoise. That's fun. So that's all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Now I've got multiple pinks and purple bracelets going on here <laughs> with our butterfly garden. <laughs> um, don't forget we've got buy three, get one free on the buttons, have to add all four to your cart and you'll see that one gets marked free. If you add eight to your cart, you'll get two mark free. If you add 12 to your cart, you'll get three mark free and so on. Um, those are while supplies last or they end tomorrow at August 10th um, at midnight Pacific time. Love it all. Thanks, Kim. <laughs> yep, goes with me today. I am just I am just totally in purples and pinks today. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you guys so much. Um, have a wonderful week. I will see you here again next Monday at 2 p.m. Pacific time. And until then, be well, create. And if you're feeling frustrated, allow yourself some time to relax and maybe just play with your beads a little bit. Look at your beads, gather your beads and um, hopefully we have some inspiration for you with today's video. Stay safe, everyone. Yeah. Thanks, Maria. All right. Talk to you all soon. Bye.